Hello, video camera. <laughs> and anyone after this time that I've uploaded this video, who watching this video, hello. Um, sorry. Mm. <laughs> Shall I start this again? Okay. Right. I said that, you know, June 22nd or 23rd, end of the age. I kind of imagined what might happen and um, what I imagined might happen didn't happen. But um, you can't say nothing happened. And uh, on those days I was um, waiting and 22nd happened, nothing really happened. I mean there were some uh, videos of Nibiru that I saw which I now think probably fake. And um, 23rd, nothing really happened. Went down to vote in the in the election for the uh, England coming out of the, or United Kingdom coming out of the Europe. And didn't didn't expect them to. So then on Friday the twenty fourth, I was sort of you know, okay, well you know, got it wrong, you know. Thought I might, <laughs> and then I got back and looked at the news and saw that the vote for Britain to leave the EU had the Leave campaign had won and we were leaving the EU and that was very surprising and made me feel really good. I'd voted to leave, not really expecting, I expected the Remains to win as everyone else did and um, so, as sort of my thoughts collected around that, and since the over the last two weeks, I think that was it. I think that was, imagine God pushing a domino. That's, that's what my current feeling is, and I'm making this video, you know, and in, in a week's time I might feel more so, like it is that, or or less. So, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with this for the moment. <laughs> that we're past the worst. That the seven years of tribulation is nearly over. Um. So, so, so it's not it's not dramatic. Well, it is quite dramatic, but not perhaps as dramatic as we might have imagined. But let's see. So, if I say, okay, so I say the seven years of trib started in two thousand and nine. That's my feeling of when things started to go weird. Chemtrails, started noticing chemtrails. Um, loads and loads of other stuff sort of started, particularly in my own life. Um, that summer I was getting dreadful headaches and they'd started CERN then as well and at the time because my headaches were really bad from about one o'clock in the afternoon to about seven o'clock in the evening it just seemed weird how they would like just stop. Um, but since then I've noticed that, you know, once you've got through the day, you're, you're into the evening, I don't know, you sort of, you know, you've done your day then, haven't you? you so you, you ease off. So I don't know whether it had to do with CERN, but anyway, these headaches eventually went away after a few months. Um, so, 
yeah, my feeling for me personally is that 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 would fit. That that would be the seven years of tribulation. And you know, about halfway through that period, if you like, um, would be uh, sort of 2012, end of 2012 to sort of 2013. And that, you know, that was quite a dark time. Um, it was quite like, like a lot of suicides um, around then. and. Yeah, quite. It's quite a sort of negative time, and I think if we base it on, you know, I judge things from my first-hand experience. I can't. I don't read things in a book and go, "Yep, that's right," because it's written in a book, or someone tells me something. You know, that's now third-hand information. So I think that's the best thing to go on it, and it, and it's these sort of feelings. You know, how 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 does things feel? And I'd say three and a half years ago, things felt pretty shit. They felt I really wanted it to be over because I didn't I didn't really see how the world could get better. And that Brexit vote, see I would have always thought that they'd rig it, that if they looked like they were gonna lose, they'd rig it. And they'd throw a few hundred thousand postal votes in or something. Mind you, that wouldn't have been enough. Um, and they talked about it like the UK earthquake and the seismic <laughs> repercussions. And it is going to have seismic repercussions around the world. Britain is, you know, old great empire, still lots of Commonwealth ties, you know, leaving a big super state. You know, you, we, we've seen how America, a big super state, uh, f flourishes and everyone wants to live there. And, you know, Europe sort of thought, you know, well, you know, we're the old world, we're the old super states, we should get together and, and be the new super state, but not the same as America. Don't all speak the same language. Have got very different histories, much longer histories. So it wasn't working anyway, Europe, in my opinion. I mean, I don't see why we can't all get on, on together. Anyway, so we vote to leave, and it's sort of a protest vote. And this is what I was saying about God working through the individuals, you know. That's what I said in previous videos, that's what I feel. So although there hasn't been a 10.0 earthquake, and that could still happen. I'm not saying that won't happen. Um, I'm not saying that Nibiru won't come flashing through the sky. But in terms of the now and what we know, and how we feel as human beings, I think we're already past the worst. And you know, God, that's what I mean, I knew God's plan would be awesome and perfect. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the feeling now that, um, you know, like, <laughs> if there was going to be like a massive catastrophe like Isaiah, now unless we go for a black hole, Right, and then who knows what's going to happen during the black hole? Right, it could just go, whoop, <laughs> and we come out on the other end. Like, so there's nobody who would know what that would be like. But I don't see, um, I don't, I don't see the world sort of burning up in flames. This again, I don't know. I don't know. My, my days are predicting the future. <laughs> I think are gone. I like <laughs> feeling the now, living the now. Okay. Um. As for me, with my work or play, what I've been doing, 
meditating and everything. I have um, accomplished, I've gone through new boundaries and okay so I sit here and meditate, I feel my soul, okay? I feel a lot in my head and this is the intellect area of the soul. I have a connection to God in my temples and other spirits can come to me they come this way and usually I divert them off to God I say no it's my will you go to God okay so anyway that's the stuff in my head the soul's intellect now I have cleared like my humility which would be in the throat area I might still have a few remaining issues I probably have Maybe competition is one. Um, and you've got your heart, right? So I'm going to come back to. Um, emotions, so sort of emotions you haven't dealt with will be sitting down here. You can't see, I'm putting my hand on my belly. And so I've been feeling like, one new thing I've been feeling like, um, to forgive others for what they've done to me, you have to first feel what people have done to you and I very much in my life I've kind of ignored that and said no you know they wouldn't have done that to me but actually just to feel that they if they did there'll be feelings there and then you feel the feelings and then you can forgive and then you get this love feeling in your heart and this is the kind of difference that I made was I've when I say when I'm feeling things um, you could get a pain in your stomach and just feel the pain in the stomach. Um, but if you allow it to come up, like, into your heart, and so you're actually feeling it with your heart. Um, now, I would say this is my personal opinion that this is quite advanced and there's a lot of things that need to be done before this is possible. Um facades need to be got rid of and in a sense my advice to anyone who wants to do this process if you haven't done so already would be to watch um, my videos back from uh, sort of September 2014 because that's when I was clearing myself of facades and uh, you know, I've got videos which have only had like 10 or 20 views and some of those are actually probably the best videos with the... <laughs> possibly, but again, that's my personal opinion. But yeah. So, feeling with my heart and then you feel in this great love and feeling the power of my heart. So that's the breakthrough I've had, I've had lately. And then below the emotions, by the way, sort of on, on the seat of your bum, this is the affection area of the soul. Yeah. But, you know, words can't do this justice, so I almost wasn't going to bother making any more videos, just thinking, you know, this sort of stuff, you cannot put it into words. It doesn't do it any justice. You have to feel it. And once you start feeling, you probably won't really need um, videos or advice. Because <laughs> you can just get it straight from mum and dad. Our oh, mum and dad. Ooh. So, you know... I've got a few other things to talk about. Just stuff I want to get down, but that was the main reason for doing this video was to get out my opinion that we're past the worst. So, you know, there's still there's a guy I was listening to Dan Shelley, and he's yeah I liked him because he you know he's helped me like in a sense like he feels like you know this is the end and everything as well and. 
and and he did a video where he's 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 had a bit of d demon problems though, um, where he's being attacked, and uh, see he's you know he's struggling a bit with it. He's getting very like shouting in his video, and he he told he fair enough like the Lord told him to shout or whatever or said holy but you know there's anger there and, and there's something to do with his wife and um you know when you've got that you're going that allows demons in so you know any if you're perfect then only perfect spirits can connect to you if you've got one issue then you know and the rest of you is perfect then you know you'll get spirits in that similar condition. If you've got shit loads of problems obviously you get loads of shitty spirits if they even wanted to connect to you. I mean that's you know it's all about rapport. They're just people at the end of the day. People who have lived a life on earth and then have continued in the spirit world. As everybody who's ever lived is still existing. Some have reincarnated very very few. Very few. And the first was in 1962. So if you're born before then, you're not reincarnated. Um, I might as well talk about A.J. Miller. He was the one born in 1962. There you go lived the life of Yeshua. Um, I'm going to be critical at this point, but I'll just first of all be complimentary and say, you know, the guy is a good guy, he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth as he knows it. And uh, I believe what he says because he's brought truths which actually made a difference before that, you know, you listen to this, you listen to that, you might there might be a bit of truth in there you pick out, might help you in your jigsaw puzzle. But um the truth he's come out with bang bang bang, they like they make something. And and the effect was um feelable. <laughs> so But I wanted to pick up on what he says. Like it's 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 the minor truths that I feel like he's he's guessed. I think he's had he had one major like connection, and had a lot of information. All this truth came to him, and I don't think he's been able to get back there. It's my personal feeling. And so the, with these slightly outer truths. He, he's he's tried, you know, he's used his intellect and a bit, you know, and a bit of feeling probably and, you know, not got it quite right. That's my personal feeling. So, for example, um, in his earliest videos, he kind of said, you know, God made all the souls and that they were sitting incarnate ready for a, a life to live in. Now, that hit me as truth. That made sense to me. But later he's sort of gone on to say, oh, God's continually creating souls. And he's talked about God as sort of everything about God is infinite. So God is going to make an infinite number of souls and, uh, you know, like that. And to me that doesn't make sense because if you've got an infinite number of souls, then, then how can they all be unique? Now, OK, maybe on a soul level, different logic applies. But it still made more sense and there's more of a truth hit when he said about um, God made them all sitting incarnate ready for a life. So there will be a point where the last soul has has come down and then all souls that God made. I mean, he might have another batch <laughs> later, I don't know. But this current batch of souls is currently everyone has now started existence. I think. 
I think now that will have been completed. Uh, yeah, but back to uh, AJ. So I think he, you know, he's not quite right about that. And um, for example, he says he he doesn't know if God has got a mum and a dad. Now I don't know for sure, but I have thought about it, and my feeling is that God would have a mum and dad, and God has got brothers and sisters. And, but I don't like thinking about it too much because it's just too massive and it's stuff I don't need to know now so uh, you know I'm quite happy to just have a rough idea okay probably and then um, think about things more relevant hang on I had a piece of paper, there might be some things I wanted to say. Oh yeah, so, so if we're, we're talking about this Brexit, so I've gone off AJ Miller, I'll finish on AJ Miller. Uh, AJ's contradiction, state of the world, people's fault, yes but God designed it. Yes, yeah, so he does go on sometimes in his videos how, how it is all people's fault. And he's true, it's true, but it kind of, you know, we're God's creations. God designed and created the universe, God designed and created all of us, all of our souls. And, you know, God knew what would happen, it's God's plan, right? So we should let ourselves off the hook, whereas he's kind of ramming us on the hook. And it's probably frustrating for him, because the world does see things backwards. If you see things the way the world currently sees them, and that's going to change, you are seeing things backwards. Like, almost almost everything. It's, it's weird, like... Take the revenge thing, you know, someone smacks you around the mouth. You know, you think, fair enough, smack them back. But there is a better way, that this love, love is more powerful, love will conquer. And, you know, if you actually think about it, and think how you would be more loving, you probably wouldn't get smacked in the face in the first place. But even if you did, <clears throat> and if there was some extreme reason why you did, you know, love, if you were able to love back, it would have a much, much better result. So, so yes, people do think, see things backwards, but this, again, must be part of God's plan. And like I've said before, the, the basic result is, is that people, through the choices of our ancestors, chose not, not to, to depend on God, um, chose almost, want, you know, to, to be gods themselves. And... Um, that's why we're in the situation we're in, where we're seeing everything backwards, and the, the results we get from seeing everything backwards is a fucked up world. And so this is what God's changing. So I'm going to go away from A.J. Miller and back to the Brexit thing being described as an earthquake. Now, as I did say in my last video, I think, you know, I made a video... California earthquake imminent, you know, my feeling was it was days, it was the week that I made the video. And that week I was looking at California to see what was going on, nothing was going on apart from these Trump rallies. Now, so if we say, you know, they talked about Brexit being an earthquake and seismic effects, so to Trump, what he's been doing and... Uh, The more I think about it, the more the more I like it. Uh, the America needs that change too. <coughs> so then, you know, when I when I was thinking that I was wrong and I got it all wrong, 
I just interpreted it slightly wrong, but it was right, and it happened. So therefore, it is. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to talk about it. Oh yeah, yeah. That was another little dig at AJ Miller. It says how powerful the soul is, but thinks making presentations is the way to change the world. And I've been thinking about this a lot, you know, I make YouTube videos thinking they might have some effect. But, you know, get, uh, you know, 100 views if I'm lucky. And then, you know, someone just prattling about playing video games, punching their mate in the face or something like that. You know, that gets a million views. <laughs> so another demonstration that the world is backwards. Whereas if... You know, some of the things I've been talking about, or AJ Miller or other people's, you know, serious subjects, how we can actually, you know, improve your life and gets very little attention. But, this is what I feel now will change. God's pushed that domino and we're going to have change. Um, so I can't remember if I was going to talk about anything else. Population. This isn't actually a very good uh, diagram table, if you like. But if I just... I just want to put it in context that the amount of people in the world now is just mental. So, before 3000 BC, there was between 1 and 10 million people on the whole earth. So we're, we're, we're about, you know, a thousand years into, into world history at that point. So it's very few, you know, population of Oxford across the whole world. Well, a thousand BC, 20 to 30 million. You know, that's not very many, is it? Across the whole world. That's like just a small percentage of what we've got now. Uh, 0, 100 to 150 million, 1000 AD, so basically 1000 years ago, 250 million. It's not very long ago, and that's a big difference. It's a quarter of a million. So that's for, you know, we've got 30 times as many people on the planet now than we did a thousand years ago. So it's 30 times more uh, concentrated. Uh, then we get 1550, 500 million. 1825, 1 billion. 100 years later, 1925, 2 billion. 35 years later, 3 billion. 14 years later, 4 billion. Now basically every 13 or 12 years, it goes up by a billion. Uh, in 2011 it made 7 billion. And we're on about 7.4 billion. Now, I did see a graph, and how they know this I don't know, because this was back in 2015. That showed that the growth of population peaked, would peak in 2016. Quite interesting. So, we're still going to be having more, more, well, you never know, do you with Zika and everything else. So, I suppose what I'd like to say is that even if, even if a big fire came down and consumed the whole planet, and it happened in like, you know, a couple of hours. <laughs> Most people didn't notice until the last ten minutes or something. It wouldn't have a massive effect on our souls. It wouldn't be 
a massive event, you know, because suddenly we'd all not be on the Earth plane and we wouldn't be seeing it. The fact that we've got so many people alive on the Earth today is potentially good and bad. Depends which way we're going. And we're going we're going good now, that's what we're doing. So I think it's potentially awesome that because we're all connected, water is connected, and there is a connection we have 